Hi there, I'm Alex from the Southern Ukulele Store and I've been really excited all week at the prospect of filming today's video. So today we have a really unique opportunity to compare Spruce and Koa on the same model to see which one is truly the winner and the best top tone wood for a ukulele. Now this is all subjective, there's no right answer obviously. But for you the listener at home, this is your opportunity if you've ever thought, oh, I really want a Koa instrument but really like the look of spruce or probably more realistically oh man that cover is so gorgeous but for what I need it for the spruce is more appropriate we've all been there with instruments I know I have I can't be the only one so what we've got today is one of the most iconic ukuleles of all time the Kamaka HF 3D we then have the exact same model but with a custom spruce top upgrade so the HF 3DS we then have a standard Kamaka Baritone HF4 in Koa and then we have the HF4DS which is the Spruce Top Deluxe version, the equivalent of the tenor, the second ukulele we're going to look at. So I'm really excited to get going with this. Before we begin I just want to thank my friend Scott who sent the whole team uh, matching Alaskan themed hats. Uh, most of the team here wear these snapback hats you see and Scott visited the shop recently to buy a Kanalea and uh, he sent us these hats as a kind of tribute or homage to the sus custom Alaskan rainbow cedar ukulele that we do so an Alaskan themed hat for an Alaskan themed ukulele so uh, yeah thanks Scott very much for that I hope you're watching this one too even though you definitely don't need a new ukulele so we're going to begin now, so it's Koa Tops, Spruce Tops. We're going to start with the HF 3D, work our way through to the Spruce Tenor. Then we're going to do the Koa Baritone, and finally we're going to do the uh, Koa, uh, the Spruce Baritone at the end. Sorry, it's a bit early in the morning, my brain's a bit scrambled still. So anyway, I'm really excited, let's begin. Okay, and the first you can look at today is the Kamaka HF 3D. I'm going to try and keep the talking to a minimum on these, but just run through the important specs. So this is a deluxe Koa tenor by Kamaka with an ebony fingerboard and bridge. Some really gorgeous rope binding. That rope binding actually contains a maple Koa and rosewood. And a rosewood binding around the outside there on the front. There's no binding on the back, but a gorgeous piece of Koa on this one with a mahogany neck. And the Kamaka tenors have a 36mm nut. Finally, it's worth just taking note of these shallow tuners, a uh, kind of unique choice. No one else is really using shallow tuners uh, of the main Hawaiian dealers. But they're really lovely tuners with uh, matching wood buttons. Yeah, the Kamaka HF 3D is one of the most iconic ukuleles of all time. Uh, I'm always, I always feel privileged to hold one and play one, so let's give it a play and see what you guys think. Okay, and the second ukulele we're going to look at today is the Kamaka HF 3DS, which is the same ukulele as the Kamaka HF 3D there, but with a custom spruce top. So this instrument, as well as having what it looks like an Adirondack spruce top, but uh, Kamaka do not specify. I think they probably treat um, each delivery of tone wood slightly differently, but this looks like an Adirondack spruce top with a ebony fingerboard and bridge with the same rope binding there and at the rosewood strip around the front. No binding on the back, but you do have another, another lovely gorgeous colour back on this ukulele with a mahogany neck, 36mm nut, and those gorgeous shallow tuners. So yeah, I'm going to give the HF3DS a play and we'll compare it to the HF3D and see which one comes out on top.
third ukulele we're going to look at today is the Kamaka HF4. So this isn't a deluxe model, but there's nothing standard really about a Kamaka. If you look at the colour on this HF4 standard is, I think, being maybe being a bit controversial, every bit as nice as some of the uh, backs and sides on these instruments here. The difference between the HF4 and the HF4D would be this one has a rosewood fingerboard and bridge instead of the ebony and there's no binding to speak of and the head plate is a much plainer colour. Aside from that, spec wise they're quite similar. There is a big difference in price because that inlay work must take forever. But the HF4 is your standard Kamaka baritone, made in Hawaii with the colour top back and sides, mahogany neck, shallow tuners and a 38mm nut. But it can almost feel like a 39mm in the very very first position. Uh, just my opinion. Uh, anyway, let's give it a play and see what you guys think. Okay, and the final ukulele we're going to look at today is the Kamaka HF4DS. So this is a baritone deluxe with an upgraded spruce top. This also looks like Adirondack spruce with the koa back and sides. Very straight, straight grain koa on the back and sides, which I think will probably translate into the sound of this ukulele. Should be quite loud, I think. So this also has the 38mm nut that can almost feel slightly wider with a mahogany neck and the shallow tuners. This one also, it's hard to pick up on the camera I noticed, but hopefully on the close-up you can see the figuring on this head plate is much, much prettier up close than it looks from a distance. Uh, when we were taking photos for the website, I felt the need to go and take an up close picture of this just so it didn't get missed out in the grand scheme of things. But yeah, the final ukulele of the day, this is the Kamaka HF4 D S So what did you guys think? I think I should probably keep my cl cards close to my chest on this one, but I definitely preferred a spruce top in one size and a koa top in another size. So you can leave that open to interpretation. But what did you guys think? Why don't you comment on the video? Uh, why don't you share it with your friends? Remember to like and subscribe. So you like the uh, video, subscribe to the channel. You can contact one of the team in store on 01202 430820 if you have any questions about this ukulele. But remember, you can also email me in store about any of the videos, uh, alex at ukulele.co.uk. Remember, I've just bought out an album, so if you feel like being generous and contributing to my, uh, my son's toy fund, feel free to uh, go over to alexbeds.co.uk and uh, purchase an album or give it a listen. Uh, in the meantime, I'm Alex. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next week.